Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we are back with the latest iteration of the Benjamin Bulldog, the new M357. So the new M357 replaces the existing 357 Bulldog and you'll notice a lot of cues or, or a lot of features that are similar to the 457 Bulldog we reviewed a little bit ago. Uh, and that's because Crossman Benjamin is taking this kind of to the next level. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for more power out of the 357 Bulldog. We actually had a service where we would tune them up for you, uh, but Crossman Benjamin has gone ahead and done this for us from the factory in the same Bulldog platform we know and love with some tweaks on the details. So let's get into it. So starting at the front of the gun, we now have M18 threads on the muzzle end here for a moderator if you want to add one, because of course, uh, taming the bark of the bulldog is uh, something you can certainly do. Uh, underneath of the shroud system here, you have a 28 inch barrel, uh, gonna give us lots of power out of this new M357 platform. And like our 457 counterpart, they've gone ahead and added the longer air cylinder here. So you are going from 340 cc's on the previous version of the Bulldog to 440 cc's here. Uh, that extra air power is going to keep the shot count pretty similar with the increased power. Of course, we'll put that to the test for you once we get there. Uh, but Back up to the top of the shroud, you have a full length Picatinny rail, nothing changed there. So all of your optics, accessories, whatever you want to mount, you can do so right up top with plenty of space. I've mounted an Element Helix 6-24 for the testing today and some UTG Pro rings, works really well. Uh, probably more weight than I'd want to add if I was taking this gun hunting, but it's going to serve us well on the range for our accuracy testing. Now, the stock is the same as every Bulldog you guys have ever seen us put on video here. Uh, same very good solid trigger here, right around three pounds or so, and a manual safety, very easy to operate here right in front of that trigger uh, with your forefinger. Super simple to do. Nice tried and true system there. Now coming back to the meat and potatoes of the gun here in this breech block, we do have our pressure gauge. Fill pressure is still 3000 PSI. I like that Benjamin is keeping that at 3000. Makes it easier for those of you that may be hand pumping or filling off a limited air supply source. Uh, they have beefed up the cocking handle here and that is because you are pulling a much heavier hammer spring back in this gun. Uh, it is considerably harder to cock than the previous version of the Bulldog, uh, but still manageable. You guys are gonna be fine with it. And the magazine is still the same tried and true five rounder that loads right in the top there, seats in nicely and is super easy to load and use in the field. Uh, one of the best magazines on a big bore that we have in the industry. Uh, this gun, it, like I said, it's pulling a heavier hammer spring. So the way this gun is set up, and I will decock it here, very easy to do as well. The way this gun's set up from the factory for you guys, if you are pushing like 190 grain slug, something in that heavy 357 range, you are going to get probably around two shots at around 280 to 290 foot pounds. Now the gun's rated at 300 foot pounds. If you go heavier uh, than that 190 grain mark, you are going to get there. But uh, what we have at the back of the action here when you pull the butt pad off is an adjustable hammer spring. So you can actually tweak this a bit to get up to that 300 foot pounds uh, with the 190 grain or something heavier. Now, if you do that, it is gonna mess with your shot count a bit. So like I said, the way this is gonna come out of the box is gonna be two good solid shots right around 280 foot pounds or so with that heavier ammo. Now we don't have a whole lot of that heavier selection online right now, uh, but we will test it with what we have. And obviously as we always do, we'll show you a couple options, something in a more powerful range, probably a middle weight slug, something in the 150 range. Uh, and then we will also chronograph it with whatever is most accurate as we always do. Uh, and the last thing I forgot to mention, actually uh, two more things, uh, the cocking lever is still reversible. So if you do want to uh, run it on the left-hand side of the gun, you can do that, pretty simple to do, or we can do it for you. I think we have that on the uh, product page on the website. But the last thing is the fill port still located right here at the back of the action, male quick disconnect fitting to fill this gun up to 3000 PSI. You've got your swivel studs, all the normal bulldog stuff. The important part here though is how it performs. So let's get it out to the range and see if this new M350 57 has the goods.
All right, guys, so interesting results with the M357 Bulldog here at 45 yards. Um, as we've kind of gotten accustomed to, shoots JSB pellets really well. Uh, but our testing did not have good results uh, with any of the heavier stuff, and I mean any of it. Uh, so our best two, uh, the FX hybrids, uh, right around 68 grains. This is a one-inch group for three shots. Um, certainly usable there, but the better choice by far, those JSB 81 grains, this is a half-inch group. It's basically all three shots in the same hole. I, it's stellar accuracy, uh, but probably not going to get us the max power that this M357 is going to be able to put out. So... We'll take it to the chronograph. We'll do a full string with the JSBs, but we're also going to grab some of the heavier stuff and throw it over the chronograph for you guys, just so you know what the expectations should be with those heavier pellets, because we don't have like Nielsen's and some of these other custom ammo makers out there that are probably going to produce better results in that heavier weight range than the stuff we tested did. So just so you know, lightweight stuff is good to go out of the Bulldog M357, and your mileage may vary on the heavier stuff. Let's start with those 81 grain JSBs that shot the best for us. A really phenomenal group for three shots at 45 yards. Uh, the crazy thing though is they are cruising right along at 1,080 feet per second. That is screaming fast for a pellet. The fact that they shot so accurately is quite surprising, but what is more surprising to me is that 209 foot pound number at that top end. Uh, that is about the same amount of power you would get out of a standard Bulldog with really heavy slugs. So the fact that it's doing it with a lightweight projectile at 81 grains is really impressive stuff. Uh, but coming down to the 147 grain slugs, just to test them. They weren't super accurate in our gun here, uh, but one of the heavier options that we had on hand, you were looking at around 262 foot pounds at the top end, and you were going to get two nice consistent shots, or three actually in this string, uh, between 252 and 262 foot pounds. Uh, with just, you know, 20, 25 foot per second difference between them. So three good solid shots here with heavier stuff out of the Bulldog M357. You fill it to 3000 PSI, you go ahead, you take those three shots. That's where you're going to want to be. You've got the two backups in the mag if you need them, but three shots is going to be very consistent out of the M357. All right, let's wrap up the Bulldog M357 here. This new Magnum version of the 357 is a big uh, positive for me here. I, it's great to see Crossman Benjamin uh, taking the same steps they did with the 457, integrating them into the existing 357. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for it, so it's great to see them doing it. Um, Overall, the performance here is quite solid. I just wish we could have gotten better accuracy with some of those heavier projectiles. Now, as I said, when we were on the range, your guys' mileage may vary. You have access to probably more ammo to test than I do here in terms of what we sell at Pyramid Air. So that's something to keep in mind if you are looking for a heavier projectile. But just to get that good of accuracy out of 81 grain JSB pellets is crazy to me. Uh, this gun is absolutely a shooter um, and you are not gonna get quite the same level of shot count that that you were out of the original Bulldog, especially with the lighter ammo, but that's okay. You are getting a ton more power out of this platform. And I think ultimately when it comes to big boards, that's what you want. You want that power to be able to put game down with authority, be able to stretch your legs out to further distances as well. And this M357 is gonna do it for you. Uh, thanks for joining us as always. We appreciate you all a ton for watching. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.